and I was tortured for years. Former staffer Alim Leela says he stayed silent about MP Yasmin Ratanzi's behavior for years, but won't any longer. It's all about Ms. Ratanzi leveraging her power and using it to intimidate and hurt people. He was a summer intern in 2016, then hired as Ratanzi's constituency assistant the next year. He alleges Ratanzi started pushing her religious beliefs on him. She made it her objective to try to make me a practicing Ismaili. After work, I was forced to attend, you know, uh, you know mosques proceedings despite my wishes. Leela also claims in his lawsuit, Ratanzi was verbally abusive, including when she found out Leela's girlfriend at the time was pregnant. She said that I was stupid, that I was an idiot. From there, it quickly turned into a racist tirade. My then partner, who is a young Filipino woman, uh, was attacked. Lila said he asked for time off work to support his then partner at a medical appointment to have an abortion, but claims Ratanzi gave him an ultimatum. I can attend the appointment and my time in the office is done. He chose to go to the appointment and never return to the office. It damaged me. CBC News aired a story in the fall about claims where Tansy created a toxic workplace and made offensive comments. Leela recorded Ratanzi calling him afterwards. He said it was an act of intimidation. She's heard asking him repeatedly if he was one of the sources. I have been asked by my legal team uh, to do my due diligence. Ratanzi told CBC News in a statement that she disagrees with the characterization of events. She said that since the matter is before the courts, it would be inappropriate for her to comment through the media, but then posted a lengthy statement on Facebook calling the allegations wild, adding that she would defend herself in court. Ashley Burke, CBC News, Ottawa.